All right, everybody, it is time to talk about some ear training. I got my modus novus right here, but actually we're going to talk about rhythms today. I've heard about rhythms. So what we're going to do is I'm going to talk you through the uh, the rhythmic dictation uh, type exercises that we're going to be doing for the next little bit here. So let me pull up a uh, handy dandy uh, document for us here that we can look at together. So here we go. We've got this... Uh, yeah, whoa, baby. There we go. So we've got this we got this document here that's uh what we're looking at in rhythmic dictation. So we're gonna be talking about duplets in six eight time. Uh it's sort of a fun little backwards kind of thing, because what we've usually done is taken a simple meter, like four, four, two, four, three, four, whatever, and we've done uh triplets in that, right? So if we had sort of our beat like one and two and three and four and one and two and da, da, da. We've done our triplets there. Got to do some show tunes. Um, but what we're seeing now is if we're in 6-8, we're going to have some duplets, some groupings of two. Usually we know 6-8 as a compound meter is built on groupings of threes, but we're not doing that. We're doing groupings of two here, duplets instead of triplets in 6-8 uh, time. So uh, first and foremost, we've got a new set of notes, which fits in with our whole uh, atonal 12-tone series vibe that we're working on here. So this is the way this set of notes sounds. Starts on G or 7. Right, so resolves nicely down there on the uh, F sharp. I should have said it, it starts on Sol, because so, we're using our fixed Do. So this is Sol, La, Do, Mi, Si. So that's sort of our, our set of notes there. Um, and we are going to see when we get to an exercise really quickly here that we're going to put that into 6-8. Uh, in, it's going to be a three-measure long exercise. Um, but let's get into this, and let's talk about what we're, what we're actually discussing. So down here at the bottom, you can see I've got these two measures written up here. And we've basically got uh, three eighth notes to start both of them. And then in this first measure here, we've got what looks like usually what we would see as kind of a triplet thing, two notes beamed together, but there's a two over the top, which makes it a duplet. So that's going to be the main rhythm that we're looking at here. So we're taking what would normally be a spacing that would fit three eighth notes, and we're putting just two eighth notes in there. So this is sort of two in the space of three eighth notes. We can see that it takes up half of the measure, uh, where usually we would get three eighth notes. So I wrote this all out on F like we would see on our rhythmic study sheets. Uh, so this is how that would sound. So if we were hearing one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so you can sort of, I hope, feel the little bit of the funkiness on the back end. I'm going to play in this lower octave down here. I'm going to play the, the eighth note. So in this left hand, you're just going to hear like that, but I'll play the actual rhythm above it. So this is how that first measure goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so I hope you can feel that. So this is a classic, what we, what we call a two against three uh, syncopation or two against three cross rhythm, something like that. But you can feel how we've got that duplet feel of two, the beat being divided into two, whereas the left hand is in three. So just to, to do those two rhythms over top of each other. The lower octave, bum, 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 right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whereas the top, you can feel, is dividing the beat into two. Right? So what we're going to see here, something that's kind of interesting, is if we look at the second measure, you've, you see I've written below, these two rhythms are the same because actually there are two ways that we can write this duplity rhythm. One of the unique things about triplets when we put them in like 4-4, four, 3-4, four, 2-4 four, four, is that really that's the only way to write that rhythm. Duplets in 6-8, however, are different because we actually could write it uh, a, a quote-unquote literal way. And this way using two dotted eighth notes, this is a literal way of writing two notes in the space of three 
eighth notes or two notes that take up half of the measure in six eight. And so there's actually a fun little debate. This this actually went around uh, with the the music social media pretty uh, seriously over the last couple of weeks. Is is this rhythm identical to this rhythm? And f- uh, spoiler alert for our purposes, yes, they're the exact same. Um, I'm going to recommend that you write it this way just because it's a little more uh, clear what we're talking about and you don't have to deal with the dots, but nonetheless, they're the same. So let's just hear those two measures right in a row. Just, I mean, they're, they're going to sound the exact same. So here's these first two measures. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry, four, five, six. So same exact thing. Um, that's just one of these really interesting things about 6-8 is that we can write this duplet out exactly. Now, let's look at these other two measures over here. Uh, these are partly just to sort of help us see that this rhythm is actually not that new to us, this dotted eighth rhythm, uh, because with the lilting patterns that are built into 6-8, we're actually super familiar already with having dotted uh, dotted eighth note rhythms in 6-8 because we see the dotted eighth note takes up the first half of our lilt, right? And so that da, 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 it's half of a beat grouping, half of half of a uh, sort of three eighth note grouping. So when we take it in the lilt, right, it makes it sound very 680, but if we follow it up with another dotted eighth note, it pulls against the meter. So let's hear that third measure down there just to see where the first one with the lilt sounds like 6-8. And I'm actually going to fill this in to make it sort of a more interesting chord to, to clear clearly show the difference. And then hear how the uh, dotted eighths together, the duplet dotted eighths are different. Right? Versus... See how it's like one is in the meter lilting pattern versus right very much pulls against it and then of course the son of lilt pattern also has that dotted eighth but it it works to keep the meter in six eight whereas the two dotted eighths together or we could write it as two eighth note duplets uh pull it against so that's the rhythm that we're 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 looking for it should sound like it's very much pulling against the six eight meter like I said, we're going to do this in a, a grouping of three measures. Um, once again, here's what this note, set of notes sounds like. All right, I'm, I'm posting this after this video. I'm going to give you a whole thing so you can hear this a bunch of times. But let me just play it once. I'm going to play the exercise once so that you can hear uh, what it would sound like and be thinking about how these notes are displayed and be listening particularly for those duplets. So here's um, here's this uh, rhythmic dictation exercise. There will be a whole thing about it in the next part of the module. So you can go there with this just to give it one time through here. Here we go. This is the first note. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there you go, head down to the next part of the module and work on that dictation.